Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today Jesus speaks of the moral defilement. He shows to the people how one become morally defiled. Learning from yesterday's reading, Jesus' disciples were accused of not following the old rabbinical traditions of purification, especially washing their hands and uh, washing their plates and other utensils. And Jesus today he explains to us and explained to them what was real defilement. The real defilement did not come from not just washing one's own hands before eating or any by any external rituals, but from one's within. The first part of the words of Jesus were much understood by the disciples, but the second part they could not understand. The second part gave us a very strong message to us and to the world of Jesus that the moral defilement was always from within. The radical thinking of Jesus Christ to the people who always follow meticulously the external purification and external observances of laws had thrown them to an astonishment that this was a new way of thinking. Jesus had shown to them that this was a new way of thinking. It, is, it was not just pertaining oneself, just following the rabbinical traditions, but one must learn to see the spirit of the law. The heart as a seat of the law, the seat of wisdom, seat of moral thoughts and from that place only all the evil thoughts and affections proceeded. So the cause of any moral defilement was from within. So we are called to check how do we feed our heart, the heart of moral life. If we were to go on feed the evil things and immoral things to our hearts, automatically it breeds only the evil thoughts and evil afflictions. So that's why Jesus said, the moral defilement comes from within. From that time onwards, the new way of thinking on the spirit of the law, the new way of thinking about what really the law speaks came to an came to a starting. It's a new era of thinking the law according to its spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are called to think how do we feed our hearts. If we go on feed our hearts and minds with a lot of evil things, 
we will surely be defiled of moral things. If we had to feed our hearts with a lot of spiritual things and goodness of the world, our heart will be in breed the good things. So the goodness of a person based on how one feeds himself to his heart with the thoughts and minds. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have shown. Thank you Lord for this beautiful day. Help us to understand how we are defiled in our way of life. So many things that come to us, Lord. When we start to harbor those evil thoughts in our hearts, we start to think in the same orientation of evil things. Help us to feed our hearts and minds with good things and spiritual thoughts, Lord, so that we may have our heart which is a seat of the moral life guide us towards good moral thoughts and life we ask this in Christ's name